What are those? Wow! Wow! What in the world, man? Are you guys getting all this? Jesus, my God. So we're leaving Galhart headed north and we're at the Best Western and it's 6 a.m. on a Wednesday morning and yeah we slept good last night this is a good little hotel Best Western in Galhart check it out got a lot of facilities it's got a swimming pool too and when you get to Galhart it's like a hundred degrees in the summertime so when you get to Dalhart make sure you come you know bring your bring bring your swim trunks because you can go swimming in the pool should have seen Mark going across the parking lot in his bathing suit last night and walking back Man, that pool is not there. Anyway, guys, so that's what we're doing. We're heading out to uh, Clayton, I think it is. We're going to go to Clayton, New Mexico right now. Enjoy the ride. So now we're, uh, we're leaving Dalhart. Got music going in my headset. Got my face mask fogging up. So this is Dale Hart, everybody, and uh, we're heading we're heading north. And it is currently 72 degrees, and we're at 3,979 feet. Wanted you guys to see the Texas sky as the sun comes up. Ain't that awesome? Look at that, North Texas. Jump on my motorcycle with my buddy Mark, and uh, off we go. This is this is called Tex Line. Text line. I don't know if this is like the see text line. I don't know if this is like the last of the line in Texas or what. Let's check it out. Let's see what text line is. Apartments for rent. The front porch restaurant. To the night, rocking into the night. Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah, yeah. That sounded so good. Wake up, oh, wake up. Text line, a lot going on in text line. See now, this must be the old part of the road. No, the old town center, text line. Right here, we're in it. This is the old town center. The old buildings, that's it. Now we're heading out of text line. Yep, that was text line for you. We hope you enjoyed your stay in text line. All right, we're in New Mexico. You can tell by the bluff. There is nothing flat as a pancake. Welcome to New Mexico. Isn't that crazy? Terrain's changing. So that would make Northeast New Mexico. We just left a town called Texline. I think it was called Texline. Anyway, we're now at 70 degrees, 70.7 .7 degrees, and we're at 4,831 feet in elevation. Good day. So we're in Clayton, New Mexico is where we're at. And, uh, 
You know, these little towns out here, out west, um, I don't know how to say. Um, they appear poverty overran. But I don't know if that's the truth or... I'm, it doesn't look like you built anything new. You know, like a bustling town looks like... Uh, like it's cranking out, you know, Walmarts and all that stuff. And, you know, like where I'm from in Panama City, they're building new subdivisions by the thousands and new businesses are coming in. It just doesn't look like there's any new businesses coming into some of these towns, like almost every one of them. And stuff that was built in these towns, it obviously lasts a long time because there's nothing new built. Like that's shut down, that's from an old time ago. And now we're going through the town center, which every city has a town center that's old, you know, that's the original part where the town was settled, but yeah, let's take a look down that road and a look down that road. Yeah. It's just bizarre. It's a different deal. Dun, 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 dun. And then we're going to start getting into some of this sandstone or southwest looking stuff. So this is uh, Clayton. Clayton, New Mexico. Oh, we're going towards those mountains that we saw. That's pretty interesting. Dragon going in and out of building those old cars. Been there for 50 years, man. McClure's. Yeah, it's just lots of shut down buildings from the past. Yeah, so. But people live here. Beautiful country. GoPro stop recording. Shut on. Look at this road, guys. Is that not insane? Look how big this country is. Welcome to Des Moines. Uh-oh, we're speeding. Slow it down, stutter and go. Slow it down. Little Lane Staley singing uh, Southwest Trading Post. Little, so in these uh, songs I'll be singing, I'll be throwing a little bit of Lane Staley. GoPro turn off. GoPro stop recording. So it's telling me that this is the corridor to the Plains Highway. What Plains I do not know. Look at this. I just can't get over the scenery. Look at that. Is that not insane? So listen, if you're out this way, you got to come through the quarter of the plains in New Mexico. It, I can't even, it's, look, the corner of the plains of New Mexico, just look. So this is Raton. Raton, New Mexico. Let's stop here for a shit and some food.
It's a pretty neat little town. Raton. GoPro stop recording. So you guys can see now we're heading into the mountains. There, see them? So the, we're changing the scenery just three days. Hey everybody, you thought I'd film this. This is the Cimarron, Cimarron Canyon uh, State Park. So I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be a twisty ride. I wanted you guys to come along. Jesus. I don't know if this camera is going to do any of this justice. Good God. And you can't take your eyes off the road. Now, tell the dragon. That is the most dangerous place to ride a motorcycle on the planet. Because people don't know how to ride. And people don't know how to drive. So they let cars on that thing, and the cars go into a corner too fast, and the motorcycle guy is doing the right thing and gets hit head on by a car that's in his lane. But you're with in danger. And that is one big ego busted bragging rights. A road to dragon. I mean, just get on YouTube and look at how many people ride the dragon. And uh, look at how many accidents happen on the dragon. So it's like 360 turns in a quarter mile or something. But it's the problem is, is I know how to ride. Yeah, but the guy that's coming at you doesn't. And so it turns in, it was supposed to be a beautiful day, turns into a horrific shit show. And don't take anybody up there that isn't skilled rider because they'll freak out. They'll be so tensed and so nervous that they'll be miserable. You know? And so it turns in, it was supposed to be a beautiful day, turns into a horrific shit show. And don't take anybody up there that isn't skilled rider because they'll freak out. They'll be so tensed and so nervous that they'll be miserable. You know? What, what, what people don't want to say is, I survived the dragon because I almost crashed like 300 times. There's plenty of roads in America like this one that's not the tail of the dragon that doesn't have the status or the attention. Oh, we're pulling over. I guess pulling over to look at something. He's going that way. Now we're going this way. So I guess we're going to do some sightseeing. Oh, these guys are fly fishing. There you go. Those guys are doing some fly fishing. I did a ton of that in Oregon, you know. Really? Yep, look just like them guys. Good at it? Yeah, I'm real good at it. I caught a lot of fish fly fishing. I also fly fish the Gulf. Yeah, fly fish ponds. 
Wham. Wham. Yep. Fly fishing is where it's at, man. That was a good shot, man. That was a good canyon. And I don't think it's over. You all right? You dizzy? You dizzy or anything? You're good. Yeah, why would I be dizzy? But because of the going around the circle. No, I'm on my head. I loved it. You want to go in front of me? You want me to? I'm kind of slow, so. No, I'm fine. I'm fine right where I'm at. If it feels like I'm in the way, just let me know. No, just you're fine. You're doing fine. I want to keep my eyes on you. I mean, I'm fine. I'll be fine. This place is amazing. You won't let me fuck up. Too bad. Huh? This bike won't let me get fucked up. Because it drives itself. Basically. It's got a gyroscope in it that if you... Uh, it has a gyroscope in it, for sure. And if, if you... Uh, if it seems like you're going wonky wonk on it, it'll... No, correct. If I let off the gas, it fucking goes... Okay, engine brake. Yeah. Dual clutch transmission. DCT. This thing is fucking badass. Dude, you? are you doing the are you doing the ceremony? Yep. There he is, everybody. Well, wow. what's the name of this place? Cameron Canyon, Carbon Canyon, Simon and Cannon. Simenon. Did you lose Kurt? I have misplaced him. Do you want me to help you? <laughs> Look. I didn't lose him. I don't say it like that. I gotta, I gotta find him. Oh, Jesus. What is that? You guys see that? Look at that thing. I got me a hitchhiker. Let's see if we can hang on. He's gonna come right over that screen and right into my face. You never said it was okay, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes, here he comes. Oh, he's gone. All right, GoPro, stop capture. Like, I don't even know what that is. I mean, I know it's a lake, but I don't know what lake. Look at these corners. These are the good ones. Is Mark still behind me? Yeah. Still behind me on his, uh, Unsinkable Titanic. That was fantastic. Now we're at 8,200 feet. I'm going to try to use the bathroom here if I can. Myself turned around. 
and use the facilities. I gotta turn you off. GoPro stop capture. GoPro stop capture. Like I don't even know what town this is. Eagle's Nest. We're not eating here. This is Eagle's Nest, New Mexico. Wow. What a cool little town. But again, you'd have to really like a whole lot of nothing. Look at this place. A whole lot of nothing. It's got a whole lot of nothing and it's got a whole lot of everything. This is Eagle's Nest. Check it out. The kind of place you bring a, you know, there's a, a motel. I, I, I found out what a motel and a hotel is. If you didn't know, a motel, you, uh, you can drive up to the door of your room. A hotel, you cannot. It's the difference between a hotel and a motel. So a hotel is like you're, uh, you know, you pull up to the lobby and you go in and you talk to them and then there's a walkway inside that you go to your room. You park in a parking lot. A motel, you, you pay and you drive around the place and park your car outside. All right, that's Eagle's Nest. We're headed to Taos. GoPro, stop recording. I'm videoing. Might as well video. Give the content, you know? So we're sitting in a traffic jam coming out of Eagle's Nest, headed to Taos. 